here we have the brace or protective padding that Joe is wearing on his left hand. As you can see, it kind of looks pretty cumbersome. Just taking a few form shots here. See if I can get a better angle. I'm told that it's still going to be a game time decision. But uh, it surely looks at this point like he's going to give it a go. Yeah, hit me up with it, Daddy. How does that padding look to you? It looks somewhat cumbersome, but I just talked to somebody who had seen him in the warm-ups today, and he seems to be getting better is what I'm told. How about that swelling? Huh? How about the swelling, though? That's what it comes down to. How much has that sucker swelled up still? So, swelling equals pain, Douglas. So is there any question that Joe Harris is... Do you think Joe Harris is going to tell, you, tell them, oh, I don't feel well, or this is too much pain? I can't see him saying that. Not after He can Will. be in a lot of pain and not tell them. And you have to keep in mind, Douglas, there was that Karate Kid-like display by Will Sherrill last year in which he played despite that painful, fractured leg. Oh, yeah, Will Sherrill. This, look what this team would do for Will Sherrill right now. Why couldn't they get a sixth year of eligibility from him? Fifth year. Well, they probably could have because they don't redshirt enough here. You've always maintained that. Of course, they redshirted Johnson and he left. So, but you would, that's not a very sound move because by the time he actually plays in any serious action, he'll be in the end of his third year in college. You know, I've been watching these jumpers by Joe and I haven't seen very many of them go in. I know he's probably just loosening up here. But well, anything can happen. I, I just saw Sammy Zablinski make a three. There's, There's another three. Joe. Okay, that one went in. I once uh, saw Jeff Mullins, a great shooter in the NBA, put on a clinic. And he said... One way to get perfect rotation is to shoot one-handed. So maybe you'll shoot one-handed tonight. You heard it here first on YD365.